Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On March 3rd, a new Kyungi Provincial Organization dedicated to providing expanded support for the independence of youths opened in Weewang City. Aimed at helping youths who are leaving provincial care establish themselves in society, this organization's services include future planning through regular interviews as well as systematic support for securing housing and employment. The expansion of such support follows the creation of a similar national policy last July and the subsequent introduction of related national subsidies this year. This organization will also open a northern provincial office in Guri City this month. The Kyungi Province Institute of Health and Environment plans to examine microplastic concentrations in rivers of the province. With subject rivers classified into four groups based on their relative distance from urban areas, the Institute will study the distribution characteristics of microplastics and their sources. The Institute will use the resulting data for environmental management. Kyungi Province officials met with representatives of related organizations, economic associations, and exporters to discuss the impact of the Russia-Ukraine war. Participants reviewed the damage suffered by local enterprises and discussed relief measures. From March 23rd, the province will operate a task force to analyze the situation at home and abroad and to devise response measures. Kyungi Province has introduced an improved emergency COVID-19 home treatment system. This system will ensure the swift transport of emergency COVID-19 patients to dedicated emergency rooms so as to overcome the shortage of related medical services, while emergency patients suffering from other conditions will be guided to appropriate local medical facilities for individual treatment. The Director General of Kyungi Province's Health Bureau stated that the province is doing its utmost to create a more collaborative system in concert with local administrations, public health centers, medical institutes, and fire services. Proceeding from last year, Kyungi Province will continue its Rest Facility Improvement Support Program for foreign workers this year so as to improve their living conditions. Support of up to 10 million Korean won will be allocated to each foreign worker rest facility operated by foreigner-related non-profit organizations and associations. In 2021, its inaugural year, this program helped improve 15 facilities in 11 regions of the province. Kyungi Province has appointed singers Lee sung and Woo jae Shane as Provincial Public Relations Ambassadors. Lee will undertake the promotion of the province's welfare policies through his trot performances, while Woo jae Shane will pursue the promotion of culture and art policies. With the appointment of these ambassadors, the province will help culture and art specialists expand their fields of activities while improving its own related policies and promoting culture and art among members of the public. The Kyungi Trail, known as Kyungi Duregil, saw the first trekkers complete its entire 860-kilometer course since its opening. Kyungi Province presented these full-course trekkers, Sun Woo Jung and Lee Guan Pyo, with full-course completion certificates and gifts. With the number of trail users expected to increase in the spring, the province plans to improve the operation and management of the trail, including the revision and supplementation of guide maps. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.